On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a uh, guan. A blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the Diaspora. So, please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So we are going to kick it off this morning over there in the hostile, crime-riddled, war-torn, crime-plagued Kingston Western Police Division, where we saw in mid last year the authorities, the upper echelons of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, tried to unify communities within the Kingston Western Police Division. I did vlogs to cover that and I stated clearly to the authorities that you're wasting your time. I did applaud them for the efforts, but I know for sure that peace in the streets of Kingston Western Police Division is almost impossible. Because the only way you can attain peace in such a hostile and volatile environment, all the big fat matic them, all of the tall up, tall up rifle them, has to be taken from the streets. And we know for sure that that is almost impossible for the JCF and JDF to attain. So as long as these knockings and clappings instruments continues to be in the streets war is definitely a must because you have to remember you know that there's a lot of old hurts lingering in the hearts of many a lot of persons would have lost their loved ones whether they are criminals or not but a loved one nonetheless and persons are growing up with that anger, with that rage, with that hate in their hearts for the ones who perpetrated that crime. So my peeps, peace in Kingston West, we will probably never live to see that. What they can attain though is a ceasefire. <laughs> yeah man. So watch this now my peeps, I'm going to give you an in-depth look into the knockings and clappings that took place over the weekend in the Kingston Western Police Division that claimed the life of three. Now the first one that we are going to look upon took place in the Tivoli Gardens community. Now on your screen is a man who has since been identified by the police as Nico Francis, otherwise known in the criminal underworld as Frassman, 37 years of age and he's from apartment 8 building 43 along the Bustamante Highway. Now the deceased was sitting along the sidewalk pulling out his ear when he was pounced upon by men traveling in a white Toyota Axio motor car. Registration was not attained by anyone in close proximity. Cause you don't know so when the knockings and clapping start, you know, people get busy in a frenzy and try to take with themselves to save for them one life. Yeah man. So the men opened fire, hitting him all over his upper body and head, leaving him lifeless. Yeah man, may I tell you say the man them deal with him a certain type of way but my peeps don't feel too sorry for that one here. yeah man because this brother Frostman is a known criminal element that has been raking havoc on behalf of live up you don't know say we are talking about liberty coke that are the brother of christopher dodos coke for years so this brother here i just feel waterloo meet him all of the atrocities committed before somebody decides say uh, they're gonna pay him a visit and give him a white circle and slap him with yeah man bad man market type of thing nyam food 
broke plate. Now the next knockings and clappings that we are going to talk about now my peeps took place pretty much in a the same time frame like that one that took place in a Tivoli Gardens. Same date, pretty much same time. The criminal elements were out in their numbers in the Kingston Western Police Division on Sunday. So now on the 15th of January, sometime between 12.45 to 12.55, somewhere there about, a knockings and clappings took place along Orange Street vicinity, 169 Tarrington Avenue. So you know, see a writer, Steve Madden Place, right there. So rightish part of them have one cash pot place. So the knockings and clappings took place, and the man that was on the receiving end of all of them candy is none other than this controversial figure a booth augustus pennycook but popularly known in the criminal underworld as futa lee me go give you a little quick rundown on futa lee but before that let me give you the official police report now this man here a one a craig Town tap knackis and clappies the now deceased was walking along Orange street the police report suggests and upon reaching the vicinity of Tarrington Avenue, he was pounced upon by unknown assailants who opened gunfire, hitting him multiple times in the upper body. He was assisted to the Kingston Public Hospital, but the amount of can were mere beat that couldn't save him, even if the doctor did in him pack it, he would have spread out like a sheet. Yeah, man. The police then pick up 24 spent casing after the crime scene assorted spend casing say you know say a different caliber weapon the man them bring and come near him food wicked yeah man the police them say yo the amount of spend shell they are grung all one of the officers then skate pan spend shell almost drop and lick him head back yeah man the man them deal with him a certain type of way now let me give you a quick rundown for who really is Futali. Now for those who have been watching on the Spot News Media for a minute would definitely know that on the Spot News Media has covered extensively the wars in the Craigtown community and has covered both factions of that war extensively. Now for those who have not yet watched those videos, go on YouTube, type in Craigtown and type in on the Spot News Media beside that. And then, of course, you will see a whole list of Craig Town vlogs for you to listen and get caught up on what is going on there. Now, Futa Lee was a well-known criminal element from out of Craig Town. A real knackis and clappis. One of the man them that is definitely most feared, if not the most feared knackis and clappis that trod the streets of Craig Town. Now, Futa Lee was aligned to the guest and bigger faction of the warring factions in Craig Town. Now, Futa Lee is a man with Dede as one of the top knackis and clappies from back in the days. Who remember back in the days when time Craig Town and Benbo used to war? Futa Lee was the man with the on the front line and knock it and clap it right up Penn and Bryan Street. They saw him yeah, man, dangerous youth back in him time. But for some reason, Futa Lee did kind of step back a little bit and give the young knockies and clappies them a run. And you never really hear nothing much about Futa Lee too tough. But Futa Lee nonetheless is still one of the most feared because he's a man we go anywhere anytime and people ever say oh Futa Lee loves three so and go all about but guess what because of the fear factor of Futa Lee when a man see my step even when time him now step if he go do no damage if he go do no dirt man lift up because what a Futa Lee I make a step through so no man now take no farm a check at all so what really go on and now is that Futa Lee go buy a cash pot because a man who love cash pot. And it's like the man them give him a white circle and say, yo, we have to get rid of that one here if we need to take full control of Craig Town. So basically, my peeps, I said all of that to say this, that the streets basically I say 
is the Rick Dick faction put out the hit for Futali and Niamim Food broke the plate a bad man market because Futali was the top knackis and clappies as me say for guess and him father bigger so right I know me know say them who is among you the diaspora in a New York City them belly supposed to cramp them anywhere them there because damn and there are one of them real loyal top knackis and clappies now them have to go bury him <laughs> yeah man me I tell you I just saw the badness set more time Dirt settings, totally, I you that. Anyway, my peeps, make we continue. Now, still in the Kingston Western Police Division, my peeps, another knockings and clappings go on again. Literally, just a few hours after them two day go on, the man them deal with the 15th of January, like a Friday 13th, then deal with it a certain type of way. Yeah, man, may I tell you? Now, uh, this one took place approximately 4.35 p.m in a Tarrington Park. So for those who don't know it's part Tarrington Park there, going up Slipen Road right there so, just after you pass the famous clinic, that community that the right side of the clinic as a pass clinic front gate, the next left turn if you're going in the vicinity across the road where there so, is Tarrington Park. So right over there so, knockings and clappings go on. But I got given you how the knockings and clappings they get to take place and why. But I got given you the official police report as it relates to that knockings and clappings first. Now the official police report states that he was at home, Dwayne Hepburn was at home when four armed men with firearms entered into his yard. It is said that the men then entered the room of the man and opened gunfire hitting him all over. Over, may I tell you, say the whole of the man chest plate and the whole of the man cranium lick out clean. The man them literally empty the clip on the man. Yeah, man. The gunman then escaped on foot in the area by jumping over the wall that leads to the Calvary Cemetery. The man who end up get all of them kind of was rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital. And it was it seems as if that that man doing Hepburn literally has the almighty creator on his side but not just on his side literally in his top pocket because after all of them can they were beat at 13 special squad of them pick up off of the scene and him get couple out of that well he still managed to be among the land of the living in what appears to be very serious and critical condition but still among the land of the living nonetheless yeah man no uh, that man Dwayne Hepburn was not the intended target but his girlfriend was the intended target no the other day I covered a vlog about a man that was recently released from prison known as Makarai where the man them dash over Benbow Street now, Makarai's sister was the intended target of that knockings and clappings. But she see the movements and take care herself. But the man where she dealt with never so fortunate. So them couldn't catch Quaco. So them just deal with the shot a certain type of way. So I saw Dwayne Epburn get all of them candy and literally almost get sent home to shot I country land. So lucky for the sister, she escaped unharmed now anyway she there i'm pretty sure that she is living in fear so when i see how the garrison run when i see say the garrison is not no plating because some youths out there you know, them feel that the streets are somewhat decent for them want to run going the streets is not no joke business youth and youth we don't have to know what we don't have to do when time we don't approach the streets a whole heap of youth out there now, whether them are knackis and clappies or them are just a regular member of John Public, just a dying for step out in the streets and not knowing that in the streets is not no joke business. A whole heap of youth me know go make a step for the first time. Yeah man, well strap up and feel say my God Almighty because him have the big iron pipe on him belly. So him feel like say him can take on the world 
and now make it back. The first step he make, him now make it back. A whole heap of youth, me know, we step out there in the streets as a regular member of John Public and get clapped with the first night in the side, say, him a go one party with him friend them. Whole heap of girl, me know, the first time them step out there in the street and go spread out in front of a man, a belly she catch. Out in the streets, a serious business. Youths and youths, take on a time whilst you not traverse these streets because they all dirty kind of boy them. Always out there. A lurks. A word to the wise, you know, is always sufficient. It's just sad that some of us definitely not wise enough. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.